Hi friends, welcome to Chris Education. Today we'll see how to integrate AD with vCenter 7.x with. Let's go to VMware Labs and log into vCenter with vSphere.local account. If you want to add integrate any active directory, you have to go to menu, click on menu, and select administration. After that, you can see single sign on and its configurations. Okay. Let's first join this server to domain. Click on join. Provide domain name is corp.local. Say join. If you do the joining once, it required a reboot. Okay, joining is done. Now we had to go to family page of the vCenter. <clears throat> Provide user account and password. Click login. You can go to actions and say reboot. Approximately it takes around five to ten minutes. By the time we'll go to AD and get the peer names. Another user, the peer name if you want to check another user, right click properties attribute editor. Here uh, in the domain name, you can see distinguished names here. Go to click on V and copy this. Let's make a note. It is required. Your name equal to main and user account Let's try connecting to vCenter. Still is not able to log in. Wait for a few more minutes. Let's try reaching that if it's able to boot, able to ping. Speed to get all the services started it may take few minutes here.
see the server health looks good. Let's check the services. If all the services are started. Under startup, whatever is there with automatic, make sure those are started. You can see some of the services are still not started. And some are starting. We can need to wait until all the services are started here. It takes few minutes here. Still, we center service are getting started, so it takes a little more time. Okay, so the service is started. Then started. Okay, this service are okay. By the time let's try currently to be central. We don't have still AD integrated, so the account what is there with cloud.local is the domain account. It won't work. If, if required, you can give a test. It won't work. We have to log in with vspr.local.net. The credentials are same here for us, so just going with login. Yes, we have identity source. The domain. Yes, the domain is added now. We'll go and add identity source. Click on add. This of Active Directory integrated with Windows authentication. Choose Active Directory or LDAP. The source name. The source name is nothing but domain name or dot local this is the DNA we copy and write this common copy from there so groups domain name corporate local administrator account is required we can provide a specific URL for LDAP. That is LDAP common Okay. 
so there is no mandatory requirements anymore so just click on add Here, vSphere.local is there. The account what we require is car.local. The domain account is required to add. Now we have successfully added car.local account as a identity source. Now we can go to portion cluster view. Can create any user here for a test purpose. So the password account is successfully created. Let's try adding this account here. Let's give the permissions for this account. Click on add. It is vSphere.local. This is the local uh, uh, local domain. Let's choose car.local and search for the user test. Yes, this has been identified. What role has to be given? You can just provide the role. And if you want to propagate the child under the objects, you can click this and say OK. Now let's log out and log in with test account. Yes, we are successfully able to log into the center using area account. We are able to see other servers. And we have full permissions as we given the administrator role. Thanks for watching.